Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honestly, the cause of the deviation of this ummah is that we have neglected the book of Allah. If we connect with the book of Allah, it will resolve all our issues and our crisis. Today, I speak about an etiquette that rarely is discussed, and that is the etiquette of speaking to someone on a phone. Is there etiquettes? Is there anything that governs it? Well, here's it. Let me give you a reflection from Quran. So we're looking at Jews 18. Chapter 24, Surah An-Nur, and verse 27. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe, la tadkhulu buyutan ghayra buyutikum. Do not enter any house other than your own house, hatta tasta'nisu, until you seek permission, or the literal translation, you seek acquaintance. You familiarize yourself with the owner so that you relax him who is at the door. Wa tusallimu ala ahliha, and when you enter, you greet. So two etiquettes, you don't come into anyone's house without seeking permission. Why? Because the house is جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ بُيُوتِكُمْ سَكَنَا A place where a person is relaxed, where you hang your boots, where you chill, you free, you can move, you know what, without having additional clothing on you. Of course, adhering to the etiquettes of modesty. And somebody just comes barging is a violation of your privacy. So you want to go there, seek permission. The Quran says, seek acquaintance and greet the people. That is best for you. Mufti Shafi, rahimahullah, under this ayah, opens up the discussion of speaking to someone on a phone. And today we take it to a further level, a mobile phone. He says, from this we learn, adab of isti'dhan is that if you need to speak to someone, then you need to get his permission. Can I call you at this time? More so, if you want to have a prolonged discussion, ask him, do you, can you free yourself with 30 minutes or 20 minutes because I need to have a prolonged discussion. And also, the etiquette of someone who's trying to call you, don't just let the phone ring or don't just let the doorbell ring. The person visiting you has a right. So either answer and tell him I cannot speak or drop him a message. But that's the beauty of Islam. It governs and it gives us a cue and a direction of how we should be speaking to someone on a phone.